tired. Oh, you're tired? Yeah. Oh, that, that must be so hard for you. What, yeah. what time is it over there? It is 4.54. Perfect nap wow. time, actually. Yeah. Oh, how, how inconvenient. Actually, can we do this later and I can nap? <laughs> I'll, I'll take a quick 45-minute nap. And oh, then yeah, that's can... great. That's great. Then it'll only be uh, 2 a.m. for me. Right, which is not yeah. that bad. Don't you stay up to like 2 a.m. all the time? Stop. <laughs> so we I guess can... that's technically right. Yeah, so we can podcast then. <clears throat> you don't have to be no. high energy. Oh, we, th- th- I'm we a do little, is I, the thing. I'm a little bit low energy right now. Oh, God. Because I, I, could, I could use a little nap. Perfect nap uh, time, 5 yep. p.m. <laughs> Winter time. Let me turn around. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is just getting a little bit dark here. Mm-hmm. Perfect nap time to just fall asleep and wake up and it to feel like a different universe that you're in. Because <laughs> it's dark and you don't know what time it is. <laughs> For it to really, really fuck with your head. Yeah. yeah. No, that's what I did earlier. I did admittedly have a little nap, so I can't complain too much about it being one in the morning. Wait, you fell asleep and then woke up and it was dark? Yes. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> no, it wasn't preferable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but here we are. And I'm I'm stuck in the in the loops of time well actually you're we're recording this late because we're just pushing it later and later every every sunday until we just um until the podcast just becomes a radio show because people have to listen to it live live yeah and then that'll (laughs) and then that'll just be it but um yeah yeah jake was over oh yeah jake was always jake with you yeah i ended the last episode because jake came over remember (laughs) because jake was coming out you've been hanging out with jake ever since yeah we've just been (laughs) hanging out no he uh hit me up a couple hours before we started recording and i i was making breakfast he's like hey what are you doing i'm near your house and i was like yeah come let's hang out i got a couple hours and then i hit you up being like hey hope this is fine i'm gonna hang out with jake um for a couple hours and then we're gonna and then we're gonna record after that and then you specifically Let, let's let's get this straight okay you did not say a couple hours i said one or two hours you said an hour or so <laughs> yeah okay an hour or so <laughs> i thought it's gonna be more like one and a half <laughs> an hour or so implies <laughs> one to two hours and then you gave me a strict little ultimatum and you said okay but i would prefer to do it before midnight my time Yes. And then mm. I sent you a courtesy text at like 1147. <laughs> <laughs> 11.52. <laughs> and uh, I said, uh, are you in the right headspace to receive information that could possibly hurt you? <laughs> I'm and still hiding out with Jake. <laughs> the information is that I'm still playing Toe Jam and Earl with Jake. <laughs> and, we, <laughs> and we don't really want to stop. And, and the, it has hurt me too. <laughs> yeah, we're on level eight right now. So consider that. <laughs> Take that into account before you uh, go off at me mm-hmm. as you all want to do. Yeah, and before you cancel me for having a friend. <laughs> Toxic behavior. <laughs> Let's, okay, I have, a, I have a goal that we're going to get to three questions uh-huh. in this episode. And we're only a few minutes into this one, so we should just start it right now. Hey, welcome to All Space In Between. My name is Mitch. My name's Billy. All three questions. And we're... We, for real this time. Well, we're going to for real try this time. And also, I'm just you can actually hold us looking, accountable. Don't do that. <laughs> don't. I won't. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa. Slow down. I didn't here. make a fucking promise. I said I'm going to try. Oh, is trying not enough now? Are you promising to try? That, oh my God. That's all that matters. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm promising to try, but I can't break that promise. I'm trying right now. In fact, you're not trying. We're talking about this. We could be halfway through the first fucking question right now. <laughs> I'm looking through the questions that we picked, and none of them are like piss related or shit related. They're actually not. No, that's. And we have one that's actually like a uh, creativity related. Yeah, which is kind of not. It's not super rare, but we don't do it all the time. But it, what is rare is there is there's there's no piss or shit talk in this podcast, and we're gonna try mm-hmm. and keep it that way. I feel a little bit bad that last episode we were talking about Santa's milked cock kind of a lot well you say we right you, you say we to, it, it was you. i do that that's the coolest thing about being in a relationship it's like our lives meld into one <laughs> it's that's, that we share responsibilities yeah. and the i responsibility also call it we're our bed, is this. but i can stop doing that too <laughs> i can start calling it my bedroom and my bed so yeah okay we can <clears throat> We can demote the relationship if that's what you really want. So, yeah, I, I guess I talked about Santa's cock. 
being milked. And yeah. I did get a couple people reaching out to me saying, hey, I kind of uh, heard that episode with my mommy. Oh. And that sucked for me, Mitchell. I, two separate Personally. people reached out and said, wow, this was not the greatest episode to like start off on <laughs> when I <laughs> introduced no, somebody to the no, show. Didn't. You're making that up. No, it's true. Two. I'm terrified. <laughs> two. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that horrifying? <laughs> I didn't know that. Fuck. So now on this episode... <laughs> I we're we're going to I'm going to try my hardest not to talk about I I can't believe I have to say it again Santa's cock <laughs> I can't I'm not we I'm gonna, only I'm we're gonna, only saying it in order to to say that we're not going to say it anymore right well yeah. we're only saying it as much as we have to say it as much as we are legally kind of mandated to say it right because yeah and this is i know it sounds like bad timing but our first yeah. sponsor is actually santa's cock <laughs> we have to go <laughs> we have to go yeah a minute and a half of talking about this uh, guys you got to try it <laughs> we've been milking santa for <laughs> for three weeks now before they reached out to us i'm actually his little helper now oh god that's our first sponsor is how to become santa's little helper this is awful but we got to pay the bill somehow. They paid us it's, a it's, premium. <laughs> the <laughs> fucking. <coughs> they paid us in toys. <laughs> That's just really cheap little Tonka toys. <laughs> and now I'm, and now I work for them. Yeah, okay. they paid us in, hold on. They paid us, <laughs> I'm not done. No, they wait, paid wait, us wait, in I'm little, on. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still running this bit into the ground. They paid us in little Tonka toys, but when mm. they arrived, uh the cool thing about it it's like a game the toy is like in pieces and i have to ah. put it together like a puzzle and send it back <laughs> oh uh-huh. mm-hmm. so like this with is like, me with Ooh. like a screwdriver right yeah ah oh. yeah i have to just almost like assemble it yeah for santa <laughs> and the, the most fun bit is when you get to like um put it in the blister packaging right yeah, yeah and yeah. seal it up real tight so that you can't touch it anymore uh-huh there yeah. you go and, and then and i send put it the back. retail sticker on it and then I send it back and I – yeah, so that's how he's paying me <laughs> is through sort of a hard labor. I'm Santa's little elf now. Good. Uh, let's go to the first question because I am dedicated three to questions. Three. Mm-hmm. We're going to do it. And we're going to mm-hmm. start right here with this email saying, where do I start? Not clickbait, which is funny. I wouldn't assume that. <laughs> that's clickbait. <laughs> it's not interesting at all. It's pretty vague. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's vague. It doesn't – it doesn't uh, – does it, yeah. So uh, this person says, Hey, friendly podcast host. Let's jack into this question and strap in for a doozy. I'm a broke-ass bish. Let's get this straight. I'm a broke liberal arts college student trying to study abroad in Spain for three weeks, but I obviously can't afford to pay for the whole damn thing. Lol. <laughs> I hate this. This tr- <laughs> This person knows I hate it, too. That's the worst part. I know that you're going to have to read it <laughs> The trip is five months away, and I got to start making payments in a month, but uh, I don't even know where to start. I've been applying for jobs, so I'm hoping one of those will come through, but I got to start fundraising, so here's my question. Uh, Can y'all help? Can y'all give me some ideas to start making guap for my trip? I'm applying for jobs currently, but what else can your boy do? I already got the passport thing covered, so I don't have to worry about that. (laughs) The easiest thing. (laughs) Just the first thing you should have covered before traveling. So I don't have to worry about that, but flights and trip uh, is not covered, which pretty much amounts to like $4,000, which admittedly is a lot of money, of course, Mm -hmm. but uh, is also doable. It's debatable. <laughs> so uh, please help a hobo out uh, because any advice is welcome. Yes, I will sell my soul at Satan, JK, this per sin's name. S- S- there's an S at the S- end. This person's S- name. They, they, they an put an extra S, S on by accident. It's short yeah. for Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> this person's Samuel. S- <laughs> I like how they're like, right, so currently I've got no fucking money. I mm-hmm. need Four grand. It's doable. It's like, boy, the, the, God, I wish I had your optimism. <laughs> They're like, yeah. They're like, I have five months. Okay. I need to start mm-hmm. paying in one month. Okay. Okay. All less. right. So, which would pretty much amount to four grand, which mm-hmm. is 
They're like, which admittedly, come on, we're all adults here. I can admit $4,000 is a lot of money. It's quite a bit of money. But it is doable. And it's like, Uh okay. Um, right. How? Right. I guess that's the question for us to answer. <laughs> that's the burden. That's what they've come to us for. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm assuming they're starting from nothing, but it is okay. They do have a passport, which is, and I can't stress this. Th- that's the easiest part. You could have done the passport last minute and it wouldn't have mattered because it's not <laughs> expensive. You can't get the passport last minute. <laughs> you can't get the passport. Not, not, not like last minute, like a week before the thing, but... Mm-hmm. I'm saying the first thing they should focus on is saving money yeah, to pay for this fucking ticket. Like, mm-hmm. do you need to do the passport five months in advance? I don't know. There's a, there's a queue. <laughs> oh, man. Five months seems – it's almost half a the, year. The, the quicker you want the passport, the more you have to pay for, the, for it. Really? Get, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I didn't know that at all. Well, that's how it works over here anyway. Oh. Yeah, yeah I've, I don't ha- really I've had to. I've had to get it like short notice, like a month beforehand. Uh, sometimes, and it's uh, it's kind of expensive. <gasps> they charge you more for that. Yeah, I mm-hmm. had no idea. Well, then ignore what I just said. <laughs> you got the passport now. That's fine. But it being yeah. covered is not is not impressive at all. The four thousand dollar <laughs> everything else yeah. is what's going to be impressive. Mm-hmm. I've got to start making payments in a month. How much are those payments? Do you think? I don't know. There's no way for us to know. They got to be hundreds of dollars. Yeah. So let's just look at this realistically. How can this person make hundreds of dollars? <laughs> how, how can I start making guap for my trip? Mm. They're applying for jobs currently, but what else can you boy do? Hmm. They're, they're a broke liberal arts college student. Mm-hmm. My first four has to be life modeling. <laughs> That's honestly, that's what um. It's not bad. Yeah, that's what who who who's doing that right now? I think David is doing that. David from uh, the podcast. They were on an episode. If you haven't checked oh, that no. out, you should go mm-hmm. listen to it. Mm-hmm. I don't know what episode it is. So you just have to scroll until you find it. <laughs> but it's one of the episodes from not that long ago. David was on. Hmm. Um. Yeah, David's currently doing some like life modeling. All right, we get we get it we get it. David's good. Yeah. Better co-host than me. Right, right, right. It's fine. But David's got obligations, so you're stuck with me. What would David say now? <laughs> I want you to keep that in mind when you answer these questions. What would David say and... WWDD <laughs> on, my, on my bracelet. What would David I'm do? Tattooed onto your wrist. <laughs> Just always imagine it. Right. Well, I think in this case, the same thing as I'm saying to do. Life modeling, not a bad option. No, definitely <laughs> not do, bad have to just sit there for a long time an uncomfortably long time but i don't know i'm thinking of things liberal arts college students can do i would say <laughs> hmm are you into assembling tonka toys by any oh, chance because i've got this i'm sort of in this sort of a pyramid scheme right now where if you can assemble my toy <laughs> You'll never guess who's at the top of the pyramid. <laughs> yeah. He's huge. You'll love him. The top of the pyramid, if you can believe it, is a pole. <laughs> the North Pole. <laughs> it's the pole itself. And on there working that pole is old St. Nicholas. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <clears throat> I still have a cough, by the way. Have you noticed that? Yeah, and I'm getting one. Really? Yeah. I've not... Okay, we're not going to answer all three questions if I start talking about this, but... <laughs> I, my sickness is fine. I am no longer sick. I was over the worst of it during the last episode, but it's been a week now and I do have a cough. I the still boy simply cannot stop coughing. I cough quite a bit. I think I, I actually have a, a handsome little touch of the bronchitis. Oh, a little chest infection. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the other day when I was coughing a whole lot, like I got to be doing better at this point, but it's just, it's kind of common. It's, it's, it's a little common that after you get sick, you just keep on coughing or, you know, like you have a little like residual like chest infection and stuff. So mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not sick and I don't feel confined to my. <laughs> Trying to reassure everyone. I'm that, not sick. So don't fire me from the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I can work. <laughs> I'm fine. I can <laughs> still assemble toys. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I might be I'll, hacking up my lungs in the corner over here, but um. <laughs> one of my lungs, I was gonna say, was a little itchy. Do you ever get that? Yes. Yeah. All the time. Well, you have asthma, so you. I'm yes. sure you. I'm, I'm sure asthma you do and allergies. <laughs> right. So I don't experience that often at all. I don't ever experience that shit. So I'll just cough and just like my right lung a little bit is just a little itchy when I'll oh, cough and I'll so go. Annoying. Well, that's new. 
Yeah, and you want to reach in in between your ribs and get yeah, it. and just kind of shake it around. Yeah, uh, that's what I was feeling the other day, and I go, "Well, I might have a little, just a little touch of the bronchi, <laughs> just a touch, <laughs> the bron- just the bronco, a touch of the bronchi for for good old Mitchie." <laughs> So I've been trying to take it easy, even though I've not been. I've been hanging out with people and working out. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not actually taking it. And I'm kind of staying up late. Yeah. And I'm recording a podcast. Yeah, I'm doing a podcast, which voice. is all talking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how I'm doing during the next week. I think by the next episode, I'll be I'll be fully good. <laughs> That's doing a little knock on wood there. The next Maybe. episode, you've developed a black lung. Don't say <laughs> shit like that. From <laughs> Yeah. Have you been in any coal mines recently? I'm superstitious. I don't know where I've been. (laughs) I don't know where I go at night time. You know, I'm I'm knocking on the desk again. I'm about to throw some salt over my shoulder. I'm super superstitious. (laughs) Don't say you're going to get coal miners. Yeah, well, don't say it out loud. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Just fucking keep it to yourself. I'm sorry. All right, I'm not going to get it. I I already said that, man. Okay, all right. You're not going to get it. (laughs) Okay, good. Now that we've established that. Right, what are the symptoms, though? <laughs> what are the symptoms? Like, what, what, what would I? How would I be feeling right now? Um, I think you'd be coughing up coal. Oh God! Oh, is shit. that what that has been? <laughs> I, I thought that was all my something. sins coming out at once. <laughs> coughing out little black puffs of dust. I think that was all the lies I've ever told. <laughs> I think that was just putting me in the Christmas spirit. Yeah, because I cleansed. Yeah, I'm the mm-hmm. coal that they get under their tree. I'm the gift. <laughs> Had, do you think of being like, um, like one of the symptoms is it's not like being jaundice or anything, is it? Um, no. Oh, okay. Why? I'm, you, I'm just. Are you, are you jaundice? I'm actually just jaundice as shit right now. You're jaundice as shit. Oh, yeah. fuck again. Right. Yeah, I am a. It like I think it's funny and for, like you know how the Simpsons are funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's so i am uh, that's it makes me feel funny when i turn a a, a horrifying <laughs> shade of yellow but that's not the this coal miners disease right no all right i'm but good it is then. jaundice yeah yeah, so. yeah but i don't have that coal shit you were talking about probably not all right then i'm good okay <laughs> oh, all right that's, okay healthy as a clam god i've got to get you to a doctor a little jaundice <laughs> clam God, God! I hope you re-registered for your health insurance. Today. You know, you know, clam is clams are are clams healthy? I don't know. This person who needs money right now is like, "Will you get back to the fucking question?" <laughs> Do you think a hey sell a clam? There's that. <laughs> Have you ever tried selling hey, clams? Go winkle picking. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't just become a fisherman. Yeah. Go do dig around in the sand for winkles. Imagine sell them on the shore. Imagine okay, five months away. Mm-hmm. This trip is five months away. So what if they spent five months away at sea? Oh. Yeah. Come back a changed person. Mm-hmm. Come back a More different. mature somehow. A different man with. More scarred. Plenty of clams to sell. Mentally and physically scarred. Uh-huh. By the clams The things mostly. that you saw <laughs> when you reached the North Pole. <laughs> it's an Arctic expedition. <laughs> It'll change you. Uh, no, serious advice. I, let, let's, 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 okay, if I, um, you said uh, modeling, right? I said life modeling. Life modeling. Mm-hmm. Or just like become a famous model. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> America's next top model. You could actually. become America's next top model in five months. Easy. Easy. Yeah. And then you get at least like one photo shoot in Japan. Right. Yeah. And then boom. At least. That's yeah. 4,000. And then boom, no one ever hurt his you again. 4,000 yen at least. Well, how much is that? Oh, whew, that's not that much. <laughs> Damn, that is not, I should not accept that job. That's not good. Uh, my honest advice would be to sell things. Physical things. <laughs> it's become a merchant. Yes. Uh, no, like... Uh, uh, sell your wares. No, sell, sell just like the things that you have. Sell it on like Facebook Marketplace and stuff and actually make a quick buck. Oh, like your possessions that you already own? Yeah, sell things. Hmm. You'd be like, hey, I'm saving up for a trip and I don't really need this thing anymore. And I could probably get, I don't know, 50 bucks for it. Those 50 bucks will add it up and you'll get hundreds of dollars soon. You can, you can start making payments or... I'm looking around my room right now. You can, Yeah, like like what's something you can sell right now in your room? Me? Yeah. Oh, you have a lot of, of shit. You have a lot of shit in your... Yeah, why, why your clothes? Because you're, uh, because you're a life model now. <laughs> 
don't need, I don't these need them things. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just have tons of clothes that I've barely worn and will never wear. Mm. Um, and uh, I mean, I've got a lot of cameras I could sell, but I won't. Mm. But I could, but I won't. Um, mostly clothes and books. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm looking around here. <laughs> Yeah, mostly just old electronics, like old um, cassette uh, recorders and things like that. I could probably flip them on eBay, mm -hmm. or I'd probably be a little dickling and sell them to like a uh, like a fan, oh. and get a real premium on it. Like, imagine you can <laughs> really market it. Market tell, the tell them fuck that's up. what I mix sleep on. <laughs> I recorded <laughs> all of sleep on this, and it's just a little handheld Panasonic fucking, not even a four track. It's just I <laughs> just made. A little <laughs> interviewing cassette yeah tech. exactly i mixed <laughs> i recorded mixed and mastered mm -hmm. sleep and the good thing is no one knows enough to tell you that you're wrong no one can say that i'm wrong <laughs> of course that was in 2012 i did that they don't know what, no one knows what no one knows like what life then. was like back then when we didn't oh. have we didn't have any of this shit my <laughs> smartphone in 2012 was a little android that barely had a touch screen oh but did it blow up in your pocket? It did not. Disappointing. No. The only exciting things about them. About galaxies, yeah, is that they... Yeah. Wait, what was that? Notes? Notes did that? No, yeah. a galaxy did that. They used to explode. Yeah. Yeah. You had, you, had a, you had a tweet about it. Yeah, I did. I had a really funny tweet about it. About it blowing your dick off. It, no, it didn't blow my dick off. It... <laughs> it it the tweet said that it like rendered my dick useless for the rest of my life. Oh, it yeah. didn't blow. Okay, no, it's well. it's there, which is almost worse. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's intact. It just has no use. It just scared it a lot, so it doesn't cooperate anymore. <laughs> it won't even piss. <laughs> Yeah, if you're listening to this, look for that tweet. Just search my name and look for the tweet where I <laughs> talk about um, an ant like. A galaxy phone exploding in my pocket and rendering my dick useless for the rest of my life. <laughs> and uh, like retweet it or like reply to it or something so I can find it. So that we can, yeah. Yeah, I, I want to see it. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I better see that at and some we're point. too lazy to look. Hey, did somebody tell you to bathe this week? Stop. Did they? No. Nobody did? No, no, no one told me to bathe. But they were supposed to. We told them to do it on the last episode, remember? Mm, yes, no one called me out on oh it. Oh my god, cowards they, for they listeners! All, no, 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 no. They trusted me, is why. Okay. They trusted me to tell the truth. And you, um, and you did bathe, like yes, shortly bathe. after. Yes, I did. The okay. next day. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a thing where I've been but showering I did it again. I was just gonna say I've been showering every single day for like a little bit now. Like I've had like a few consecutive showers now, which is not like me, especially in the winter time. I'll go at least a few days. Yeah. I'm over here just running out of clothes like it's nothing. <laughs> no, I bathed twice this week. I'll wow. have, you know, I might fuck around and do it again. We're not going to get to three questions. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because we can't even answer the first one. Um, the $4,000 is nothing to sneeze at. It's a lot of money, dude. It's really, yes. it's, it's a ton of money. But on a payment plan, maybe if you have to start making payments toward it soon, you are applying to jobs. That's good. But you got to do something on the side to pay for this thing. Jobs don't actually pay money. Not oh. really. Oh. <laughs> they, don't, they don't pay that much. Jobs pay nothing. I I don't know. It depends what job it is, I guess. But if you're a liberal arts college student, I know what my, my job prospects are. <laughs> They're you're not right. that good. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess not. So my last bit of advice would be to uh, look into just like selling stuff online or just around all while doing the job thing. And, oh, also, um, you got to save money. Like, don't eat out. Don't do anything like that because that just eats up a ton of money. Mm -hmm. When you – when you're – like, if you can walk, walk and don't do the Uber. And if you have food at, at home and even if – I mean, if they're, if oh, they're at, at college – only eat canned and dried food. Yeah, you got to only eat, like, you gotta ramen only and canned chili. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only chickpeas and rice. But even, even canned, um, like, chili is a little expensive. Or if it's Amy's, yeah. Yeah, like if you're getting Amy's, it's like four bucks. Yeah, That's but it's lot. worth mentioning I've never eaten canned chili in my life before I came to your house and you gave me it. It's pretty so. good, huh? It is pretty it's good. It's very but, good. Pretty good. Yeah. You, you, dare you quote me? 
I gave you an easy out <laughs> to be like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> to, to correct me. You didn't fucking do it. <laughs> hear me, all right, hear me out. How, how much is the one can of the, of the, of the chili? Probably $4 or more if you go to a certain place. But, I mean, you can get it as low as three something. Yeah. But you buy a can of be- kidney beans. Oh, my God. Two cans of tomatoes. A can of uh, some other bean, a pinto maybe. You got chili. And how? No, <laughs> and that's way not. More than a can that's of not it. how what chili is. That's not what chili is. You can't oh, just you mix got, beans. Oh, yeah, yeah, until yeah. You, you got have... you got to put some some onions and spices and whatever right, into of course, it. And it takes work. That's it's, it. And it takes work. You're paying for the convenience. You and I bought chili ingredients that are still sitting it sitting sitting in my pantry right now. <laughs> yeah, but you know how many chilies I've made since I've got back. This ir- irrelevant. You and three. I, you and I, really? I've made three large pots of chilies, and yeah, all of them fed me for like the best part of a week. And were any of them as good as Amy's? Yes. Oh my God, you're lying. <laughs> you, the you lies you chili. tell. You never eat my chili. You don't oh, know how good it is. Why would I? Amy feeds me. <laughs> I've got Amy. <laughs> I've got Amy. I don't need you. Amy feeds me for four bucks a bowl. It's a fucking robbery is what it is. You're bad at telling people about the same money. Yeah, your <laughs> advice is way better. Make make a large pot of chili. That's how you'll yeah. make $4,000 is to stop eating unless it's from the large chili pot that yeah. you stick your hand in and go, I'm hungry. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. And you eat from it like, like you're feeding a horse. Yeah, exactly. Or just like have just a large chili trough in your, in your whatever, your dorm. And keep it always full so that whenever you're hungry or just mm. bored. <laughs> yeah. That's my next advice. Eat when you're Ooh. bored. That'll save money. <laughs> That's a healthy habit. Yeah. We got to move on to the next question. We don't really have advice for you, by the way, but we wish you luck. And we, yeah. we you, you can, you can sell stuff or uh, model. Um, what's it called? L- life modeling. Yeah. Um, don't just tell people to model. That's yeah, a bad idea. That's okay. <laughs> Sign up to a, to a, um, What's that site model called? Mayhem. Model Mayhem. That's the one I was thinking of. Sign up to Model Mayhem. <laughs> don't do not do that. I, I'm telling you from my fuck own it. experience, don't do no, it. No, <laughs> I know about, I know more about this, I think, and fuck it, do it. <laughs> fuck it. I want you to do it. <laughs> Build a portfolio. <laughs> Let's get to the next question. Okay. <coughs> Where is it? Okay. All right. Th- this one, not a question, just an email. It's just for us. Yeah, just for just to make ourselves feel feel better, really. But we're gonna go ahead and read it because it's uh, lovely, and it's called "This Podcast Is Amazing." Thank you for making it. Wow! And it goes, "My dearest Mitchell Austin and Billy Blossom." That's, I like the ring of that. Mm-hmm. Together, yeah, you, I know. Do you want to be in a poly <laughs> relationship with my friend Austin? <laughs> Your married friend who yeah, just yeah, had yeah. a child. Yeah, Austin. yeah. I mean, congrats. Um, don't get me wrong. Congrats, Austin and Catherine on the baby, right? But okay, let's just. Let's just... I, I saw a great pic of the baby on Austin's uh, feet today. On his feet, huh? On his feet. Feet. Oh, stop. Why are you looking at <laughs> my Listen. boy's feet? Listen, I was looking at his baby. Uh-huh. Absolute, the thing's absolutely covered in shit. What the fuck? The, boy, the boy's absolutely just covered in shit. Hold on. No, he's not. You're fucking <laughs> he this is. up. <laughs> he is. I'm, on, I'm going on Instagram right now to check. <laughs> In the story. I'm looking up Austin so I can... Oh, in his story. Yeah. That was today? Yeah. All right, let me check. All right. Marley relaxing in his swing. Austin's going to be listening to this being like, this is almost too personal. <laughs> this is, don't talk about my child. <laughs> uh, there's the picture. <laughs> oh, my God. He's co- it's so bad because it's baby shit. <coughs> oh, God. It was so yellow. <laughs> It was so fucking yellow. It just looks like mustard out of a jar. I'm going to go back. Oh, my God. I don't want dinner tonight. Oh, I was already feeling You're sick. Like, oh, my God. I don't want children tonight. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's bad. Anyway, shout out to Austin. I'm sure you're doing a great job. Shout with the out baby. to Austin. Congratulations. Your baby's really funny and cute looking. Congratulations, <laughs> Catherine. That being said, I just think if you and I were in a poly relationship with Austin, <laughs> then we would more more than likely more often hear the words Mitchell, Mitchell Austin, Austin, and, and Billy, Billy Blossom. Blossom. It's pretty good. And it rhymes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the question now. All right, the, go the, for email, it. the email. The email. 
Uh, my dearest Mitchell Austin and Billy Blossom. Let me just stop. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just rings so fucking good to me. I'm texting him right now. I'm fucking, I'm going to run it by him. This podcast has meant so much to me these past couple of months. I've been going through a lot of change and a lot of rough times lately, and being able to spend an hour or so each week listening to you will give advice to people trapped in pickle jars has been really helpful for me. As an example, I was having a pretty bad anxiety attack the week before last, and the new episode came out at like 2am Monday morning, so I figured I'd listen to it since you guys usually tend to send me out. And holy shit. I'm not exaggerating when I say even just listening to that opening music pulled me out of the worst part of the anxiety and helped me get my breathing under control. Thank you guys so much for jacking in every week and making all of us laugh. You guys are really good at casting your pods. In fact, you're the only non-scripted podcast I actually like. Also, your advice is actually really helpful a lot of the time, despite being super silly. For instance, I learned that I've also got GERD. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. By listening to you talk about the devil incarnate that is apple juice. Hearing that prompted me to look up the symptoms of GERD, and what do you know? I fit most of them to a T. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> also, holy shit, do you guys make great art? Seriously, Mitch, Flat Sound and Wishing are both fantastic projects. Your hey. poetry is amazing, and I'm really looking forward to the new project you previewed on Flat Sound Radio recently. And Billy, I'd never been able to get into photography before, but your hollow zine was absolutely amazing, and ever since I saw it, I've been looking at a lot of photography. Like, I feel like that zine taught me how to appreciate an art form that I'd never really been able to understand. Anyways, this email's dragging on at this point, so I better jack out. Again, thank you so much. I love your work, and I love all the space in between. May your waters be calm and your fires warm. With utmost thanks, this person's name. Wow. May your waters be calm and your fires warm. What a soothing sign off. I'm relaxed. You thought we soothed your anxiety. This email <laughs> cured my panic disorder. I don't I don't have I don't have PDA anymore. Panic disorder <laughs> and agoraphobia. I'm I'm completely zen. <laughs> I'm cured. Thank fuck. Uh first thing I want to say, <laughs> I just mm-hmm. start giving them advice they weren't asking for. <laughs> <laughs> when you structure an email, it's best to start, honey. No, no, listen, uh, uh-uh. honey. When you start, you're like, stop. Don't call her, honey. First of all, don't call this person. No. Um. First thing I want to say is, we didn't jack in. We've oh my god. Heard that reference like twice now. We didn't do yeah. it, so I'm just gonna oh, take a fuck second. It. God, we forgot. And I'm jacked in. Okay. Whew, let's just start will the episode. Jack, over. Will you jack me we... in? Just while, while you're doing it, okay. we just jack me in. Hold real quick. on, really okay. quick, and hold on. You'll 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 hear it when it happens, and it's going to mm-hmm. sound like this. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Do you want to just? Um, I'm probably actually just going to cut this part out. You want to start the episode over? <laughs> yeah, we're 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 what 30, 33 minutes in. We can do that again. No. <laughs> we, I wasn't jacked in the whole time. No. I feel like a fucking idiot. I didn't jack in at the beginning of the episode. It's half one. I can't stop. I again. know, but like when you think of like Listen, the longevity no, no one, no, of the no show. No one's know it's so we weren't jacked in. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's all right. All right. No, no one better bring it up though. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, the second thing I wanted to say mm-hmm. is um, GERD. <laughs> now. Yes. Uh, this I'm is... so sorry you had to find out like this. <laughs> well, this is a suggestion that I want to make. Uh, mm-hmm. Keeping sort of a food diary for a little bit of time and just seeing what your trigger foods are. Mm-hmm. And I'm curious as to if you can handle wheat products very well or gluten because that's one of my main triggers for my heartburn is – I'm sorry. Are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> what is funny? I'm not making a joke right now. I know you're not. I'm giving – can we cut this shit for one second and just okay. me to give genuine advice about GERD is uncomfortable. Okay. It's also the hottest disease to have. All caps, G E R D. <laughs> so when it comes to GERD, I feel like I have gout. When it comes to GERD, keep a little food diary to see what your trigger foods are. So you say, I ate these things today. If it makes you comfortable, say, I ate these things today. Um, and uh, this is what sort of uh, triggered this or that. And, uh, You'll soon find the foods that are like you're 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 very okay with or you're very not okay with. Like um, for a lot of people, they can't do like tomatoes cooked or otherwise. And uh, mm-hmm. I can do tomatoes very well. Uh, yeah. I can also do spicy foods really really well. 
uh, that is not a trigger for me. But wheat products give me so much heartburn. And then when it comes to, I don't know if you deal with heartburn or anything like that, but there is this, there's something called the digestive bitter. You can mm-hmm. get it. Um, you can get it at just like a health food store. You can get it on Amazon. This is a, this is not a sponsor, obviously, though I would love <laughs> no. that because I use it all the time. But the brand that I use would love them to just pay you in the in the bitter. That'd yeah. be convenient, <laughs> yes, because I do take it with every meal. <laughs> yes. Is uh, it's called Urban Moonshine. Mm-hmm. And Urban Moonshine, they make a digestive bitter, and it's good. Um, but you also have to keep in mind it tastes like it tastes awful, but it's supposed to. It does. Uh And it makes you smell like dandelions off. It does. You just kind of spritz it in your mouth or you put some drops on your tongue and stuff. And you can do it up to like six times a day. And I take it – you can take it before and after meals. Um, Mm -hmm. I do it before and it really Mm -hmm. wakes up your digestion uh, prior to eating and it makes it so you can easier – more easily digest these foods. And I get way less heartburn now. You do. I've seen the effects. So there you go. Real quickly. Mm -hmm. It's made out of dandelion, right? Um, not exclusively. There's, there's like, there's like a mix of a whole bunch of bitter herbs that they do. And it's also worth mentioning that every batch tastes a little bit different. Hmm. I think they're just mixing what's at the bottom of like, (laughs) of of a, um, of like a compost (laughs) bin and making (laughs) making me drink it. (laughs) Just someone's lawn clippings. (laughs) They're like, ah, just give it, give it to him again. Give it to him again. (laughs) He seems to fucking love it for some reason. Yeah. I'm just like, it's cured me. Do you know what we call dandelions over here? Knowing the UK, they're probably like f- frilly boppy wits or something. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's on topic for this podcast. What what is it? Uh, wet the beds. Wet the beds. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Dandelions are called wet the beds. Yeah, you could have brought that up literally any other episode, and it would have been more. Well, I guess you couldn't know because here I am talking about bitters. Yeah. And I'm just saying that it's funny that you take them all the time and that, it that it's made out of wet the beds. I guess all. that is funny. Yeah. <laughs> is that why I've been wetting the bed more? <laughs> is that... Since I started taking these two yeah. years ago. <laughs> I mean, like on days, okay, I don't, on days that I don't take it, you know, like I'm out or something mm-hmm. like that, I don't wet the mm-hmm. bed at all. But on oh, the yeah. days that I do take it, I do wet the bed every time. Well, yeah. And I've already, I've already said that, yeah, like I take them like every day. Mm-hmm. That I have. So that it, is of mostly a yeah. So but it's I don't, a nightly occurrence. Okay, okay, okay. But I don't. I don't wet the bed every day because on the oh. days that I don't, like I run out. I already said <laughs> that on those days, maybe once yeah. every three months, I'm not wetting mm-hmm. the bed. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's the reason? Because I'm eating wet the beds. Yes. yes. Okay. I do. Well, like it is meant to be that if you just smell them, you wet the bed. So eating them, I can only imagine. <laughs> oh is, Jesus! Uh... I start instantly <laughs> pissing myself. <laughs> like what whatever a laxative is but for your urinary tract <laughs> <laughs> i let go of my bladder that's <laughs> that's all we said we weren't going to talk about piss this episode mm, okay. here we mm. go well you brought up wet the beds that's all that's I on know. you i know but i had to get it out i had to say it um anyway thank you for this beautiful email thank you so much this has been this is this is this has been a wonderful email to read yeah i loved it Thank you. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for paying attention to the art and appreciating that. I, I feel like there's a fine line between like I, – I, I know that not all Flat Sound fans can listen to this podcast and be like, I'm uh, hearing the guy from Flat Sound say cock a little too much and it's <laughs> yeah. kind of ruining this poem. Mm, I, don't, I can't yeah. listen to you said okay anymore <laughs> and knowing that he's talking about Santa's quite frankly throbbing. Dick and bold. <laughs> <laughs> Throbbing balls is so stupid. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. God. <clears throat> so for the people who can appreciate both, I really, I really, I think that that's dope. I think that that's really cool. Because obviously I'm passionate about flat sound, but obviously this is also just how I be. My absolute favorite people in the world are people who make very, very beautiful and sincere art and are also... Uh, complete fucking clowns in real life right like i hope to that's be, my favorite type of person i hope to be funny one day that's one what day. I, yeah that's what i'm we can all only hope for. that one day you'll get funny yeah i keep trying yeah and i like don't get me wrong i i'm really get i'm really I'm holding out planning. for it yeah yeah mm-hmm. like it's bad for you how do you think i feel <laughs> i have to fucking <laughs> i'm the one fucking continually failing every week <laughs> once a week i just fucking face plant every joke I mean, is a bomb 
Yeah. I mean, it's fine. It's fine being in a relationship with you because, like, you know, it's like, yeah, you're handsome and yeah, mm-hmm. you're rich, but yeah, um, yeah, tall. Just... <sighs> Wait, what'd you say? Did you say six tall? Six foot two. Yeah, six foot two. That's the first thing that I said that was all on the list. Yeah. You said tall though. I said tall. Yeah. Tall huh. and six foot two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just I'm just waiting for you to get um funny. Is all. <gasps> you know what I fucking learned yesterday? What? I am not five seven. What? I'm almost five eight. No, you're not. You measured me wrong. No, I didn't. Yes, you what did. The, what the fuck? What do you mean I measured you? You measured wrong? me wrong because How I'm did five I seven. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm five. I can't stop saying it. I'm f- almost five eight. <laughs> but you're not five eight. Okay, no. So you're five seven still. Okay, but when you measured me, I was a, I was exactly five seven. So either you weren't exactly five seven when I measured you. What? I thought I was. I thought I hit the no, thing. No, I think no. I think I thought you were like a little over it, but not like quite. You weren't. You were like below five seven and a half. Oh, so it's like it's five seven. Okay, well, either I grew, which I didn't, mm-hmm. or you measured me wrong. <laughs> And honestly, you're much oh, shorter than me, so I think who, you might have measured, measured me yesterday? correctly. Who measured you yesterday? Johnny, if you have to know, my brother. Hmm. And he, he did it multiple times because he he him and I are almost the same uh, height, but he is he's uh, slightly taller than me. But um, <laughs> he he was like, "You're not five seven. I'm like five ten. I know you are not five fucking ten because I'm five seven. And he was like, "You are not five. What, what are you talking about?" And we pulled out the measuring tape and we did it multiple times. I go, "No, no, no, no. Let's do it up against a wall." And we marked the wall and everything. You measured me wrong. I didn't measure you wrong. You grew. I didn't grow. <laughs> you grew. I didn't grow. I've never. Maybe that. Maybe that disc slipped back into place in your back and propped you up a little. Hey, my back doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, maybe that. Holy it. shit! How long has my back not hurt? <laughs> just realizing now oh my god maybe i'm not oh flat-footed god. anymore and that's why i'm a little bit <laughs> standing a little bit taller yeah now. yeah we have to get to the last question but you can't if someone asks your height you can't you can't legally say five eight oh my still. god yeah i'll say so... i'm almost five eight that sounds so much more sad than five seven <laughs> claiming the almost is like uh. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say like, yeah, I'm like around. F- okay, what if I said I'm around five eight? No, because that makes it sound like you're saying a space round five eight, like it's five eight flat. No, you know? it fucking doesn't it <laughs> sound like that at all. You conniving fucking. <laughs> if I'm trying it's to a- my best to take this away from <laughs> I'm a- you. No, 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 honey, you can't. You just- Sorry, you can't. It's <laughs> if I say I'm around five eight. Yeah, that's I'm around it. It's true. You don't know if I'm. I could be it. over. F- fuck. Is this guy no one over, over five eight? eight with the, <laughs> no, I have anyone from looking at you. It's not over five All right. eight. All right. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to give everybody an update that I'm actually mm. not puny. <laughs> I'm actually tall now. I'm actually tall and strong. Can you hear mm-hmm. it in my voice? Oh wait, say say something. <clears throat> Hello. Oh yeah. Oh. That just it's been coming out naturally. Yeah. I'll wow. pick up the Carry phone me over now. A threshold. Fuck. And I'll say, <laughs> "Hello?" And they'll be like, <laughs> and they're kind of flabbergasted at first, like they don't they, even they know why of, they're calling. They kind of they salute and they don't they don't remember putting their hand up to their forehead. But, what but, are they? But there it is. Where am I? <laughs> anyway, you've I'm sorry. I you've won a cu- cruise. I'm I'm sorry. I <laughs> 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 A cruise, huh? Hope there's not a height limit. <laughs> you know what sucks? We're pretty much out of time. I know, it's 45 minutes. How has this happened? This I wanted to get to the last question. We can still do it. We could do a longer question. Well, a longer a longer thing. Wait, do, what, do, do you want to? Um, yeah, because we can give sincere advice to this person. And, yeah. and we know if we skip this person, we'll if never we get to their question. If we don't do it, then question. we're not going to answer it, so we should answer we'll it. We'll never, okay. ever get to their question. Okay. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> I'm reading this one, right? Yes. Okay, this one is called A Musician's Pickle. Bored, bored, uh, oh, we looked this up, didn't we? Yeah. This is Bored, uh, Mitch, the Mommy, and Billy Bloodbath. What did that mean again? It's Welsh for, like, good day, good morning. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. 
how do I say it? Borda? I don't know. In a Welsh accent, probably. Okay, how would you say that in a Welsh accent? Oh, God. I can't. <laughs> Bor- borda. Bor- no, what the fuck am I doing? Bord. I can't do it. <laughs> try Try it. Come on, try it. Uh, borda. Borda. Mitch and the mommy and Billy Bloodbath. So I've recently taken a step forward as a musician to do it full time and professionally after studying music in college and uni. It's a struggle, but I love it. The, the, the music, that is. The struggle of not having as much of an income as my friends is horrible most of the time. So I have an original band, A Night Like This, an acoustic project, Little to Nothing, a function slash wedding band, and I also teach drums. Uh, It's great doing something I love so, so much, and being able to call it my job is such a blessing. I was wondering, though, what it was like for either of you before you started seeing a decent income or were able to start living off of your passions. Much love from South of Wales, this person's name. Quick P.S. Love you both and the beautiful art you both make. Good. Hey, we have auto responses back on this one. And the three of them are love it. You only get them sometimes. You're so Mm -hmm. sweet. Thank you. And very cool. Very cool would be funny. Very cool is kind of good. Yeah. So. Hit hit it. No, I'm too scared. I'll hit it. I'm fearful. (laughs) I know this just got really itchy. (laughs) Oh, God. It's spreading to my lung. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's back. Oh, (laughs) My nose is very itchy, though. Okay, there we yeah, go. Yeah, my eyes are itchy. Oh, man. It's not... Okay. What it's, happened? Oh, I know. We both come down with a horrible virus live on it. <laughs> both of us at the same time. <laughs> Just so the zombie apocalypse <laughs> hits right now as we're recording. The wave gets... My nose is itchy. You know, like, oh, that's man. the first sign. <laughs> if your nose gets itchy, that can't happen. Okay. Uh, this question... Interesting question because it's phrased as it says, okay, I was wondering what it was like for either of you before you started seeing a decent income or were able to start living off of your passions. Mm -hmm. This is phrased as if both of us currently are living off of our passions. You should make a point and say, I'm not not quite doing that Mm -hmm. yet. (laughs) <laughs> but I figured this would be a good question to answer because you're because at, of that because you're at the cusp of something right now. You you have like a decently successful Patreon and you are making you. money off the scenes that you're doing and the art that you're making and you're mm-hmm. and you're doing something really good. So I think at the beginning stages of what you're pursuing, you mm-hmm. you got a good you got a good look at like what you've already done as well as what is ahead of you. And then mm-hmm. I can chime in and tell this guy, like, I don't know, like, what 4K TV to buy when he becomes rich, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, what to just fucking blow all of his money on. Yeah. Just, I don't know what which, tax which, is like in um, South of which Wales. Which model of the Oro Blow range he should get. Right. Definitely. Now, from what the reviews that I've read, the Auto Blow, the newest one, is supposed Three. to be, excuse me, but mind-blowing on a santa elf <laughs> level <laughs> imagine having your own suck elf Stop. that is what the auto blow three is this is what okay so this is the thing this is what wealth does to a person you <laughs> that, can hear it now <laughs> <laughs> i start reviewing every flashlight i own Uh, no, I think that you're in a good uh, you're in a good position to give some actual good advice. Mm. And I, I can obviously chime in and, and say that, that you know here's here's what you should and shouldn't do or what you can expect. Oh God. Can, can you hear that? What? I just what turned my it? printer on with my foot. I can hear that. Oh Jesus Christ! It's not. Oh, oh God! It's it's Sorry. it's printing my foot. <laughs> oh, God, Shit! It's swallowing me up. Oh God! Oh fuck! <laughs> Why is making so many noises? Why? Unplug it. Stop. Oh, Jesus, it's beeping. I'm so scared to unplug anything in case I unplug my computer. <laughs> oh, God, don't touch it. Just don't touch it. Don't touch anything. I'm not, not going to be anything. fucking... <laughs> the outro music starts be... playing here because... You... <laughs> I was too pissed off to record the end of the episode after you... <laughs> after you unplugged your computer. <laughs> Is it done? It's done. It's okay, done. don't. How about this? Don't play footsies with your printer for like ten seconds, and let's just finish the episode. <laughs> Jesus Christ! We're already over time. We got. Yeah. <coughs> 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 
All right, so my... Okay, so what, what was it like for either of us? I mean, it's like that right now. I'm not... I. So my Patreon, I'm in kind of like a interesting place with it because it's doing what I would call very successful for a Patreon, especially for a zine Patreon. Um, but it's kind of a misleading figure, the amount that I make on there, because I have to, because it's a physical thing that I'm making, I have to spend hundreds of dollars making that thing. Right. And sending it out uh, every month, you know? So it's not like, whoa, she gets to pocket like $400 a month. It's like, I, I don't. Does um, your Patreon show how much you're making or do you hide that? It does. It does, No, wow. I show it. Yeah. Brave. I, I, I Yeah, I don't know. I thought, I thought I'd, would for some reason very very transparent (laughs) yeah i like it but i also like to be transparent about the fact that it's it's not just it's making a physical product so which is the most the the most expensive thing you can do on patreon Mm -hmm. basically um but yeah i mean because of the fact that people can see how much i'm making as well and that is my main source of income right now i do little little other bits and bobs you know little commissions little shoots but that's my main consistent thing of income everyone knows you can't pay rent with four hundred dollars a month you know um it's a good amount to have and it's amount that i'm very happy making on art that you know otherwise i would just be making at a loss truly essentially and you just started the patreon like fucking earlier this year i did yes i've only i've put out five things on it Mm -hmm. so far and you still Um, continue to see growth in it Yes, I think I that's really exciting and really good. It is very exciting, and I do, I do love it. So I'm kind of wi- in a similar position to the emailer, right. where it's just like, well, I love it. I love making art. It's amazing. I love making money from my art. I do have less money than most of my friends, though, who just have a job. Mm-hmm. But you know, I am uh, your partner, mm-hmm. as people might have uh, deduced. Yes, and I have very similar thoughts to you on this kind of stuff where you know it's like yes I would make more money right now if I went out and got a job (laughs) Mm -hmm. but there's potentially more growth in this if I and I'm in like the privileged opportunity where I can fuck about and do this because my dad is just letting me live in a place you know right some people can't just live in a place they have to pay rent you know um but yeah, no, I've I've got like a bit of time where people have been like, no, you know what, try this out. So I'm trying it out mm-hmm. and it's good. And I am seeing growth in it consistently. But it's a kind of slow thing that you have to just chip away at consistently while trying to kind of make money doing whatever other shit you can find at the right. same time. Yeah. I'm um, going to uh I'm going to piggyback on what you're saying. Mm-hmm. And feel free to correct me if I uh, miss misinterpret anything or I, I say something you don't necessarily mean or anything like mm-hmm. that. But from what I'm gathering, and this is also advice that I would give, is that uh, things do take time. Mm-hmm. They take a lot of time and you got to be sort of consistent with it and try to do those things and do them for a little bit before you actually start to see it. what is a decent income or especially – When you start living off of your passions, because that's the dream. That's everybody's dream, whether you open a cupcake shop or you want to write songs for a living. You Mm want to – we all want to live off of our passions, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, But you have to try, which this person is. I mean they're they're, they have an original band, an acoustic uh, project, and uh, a function and a wedding band, and then they teach drums. Teaching drums is a wonderful thing to do. Um, mm. because that was going to be my thing is that you got to diversify your income. Is your original band making money? Is your acoustic project making money? Um, and are you getting gigs as, uh, being, uh, a wedding band mm-hmm. and are you teaching people? You got to make sure that all of those things not necessarily are flourishing, but you have to fill the gaps of what needs help and what you also want to pursue. And, um, mm-hmm. that can all be very hard because it, that will never go away. Um, today, if you live off of your work, uh, on the internet and you're an artist, you actually have like 15 different jobs and (laughs) it's always very overwhelming. It's all Mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm going to do this, but then I want to pursue that. Like you and I are doing a podcast right now at a loss and have been for almost a year. Yes. (laughs) Uh, we pay for this to be hosted. We pay for our website and our domain name Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. we don't have a single sponsor. 
And mm-hmm. uh, so we're working toward the idea of getting listeners who for some reason like to listen to this fucking show and like to jack yeah, in with us. Building a base. Mm-hmm. And uh, we do get, like in our last email, people who really love this show. So we see something special in it. We see something, mm-hmm. hey, th- you know, there are people that actually like to spend time with us. So we're pursuing this and we're doing it every week no matter what. Even though, again, we're making no fucking money off it and actually doing it at a loss. Um, yeah. <laughs> to be passionate about those things and keep keep – Keeping that up is like your only hope because unless you get lucky and most people don't just get lucky overnight, uh, you got to keep doing something for the love of doing it uh, before you see any kind of decent income. And that's what, that's what you're doing currently. And you're even, you're even on the luckier side of things because you are making money right now and it's only been less yeah. than a year, you know? Mm-hmm. That's great. That's why I look at it and I think – Oh, it's in, wonderful. I love in it. In <laughs> a year from now, I think you're going to be making X amount of money, you know, which is going to be mm-hmm. way closer to livable, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're pursuing it now and that's good. But if the question is um, what was it like for me before I started seeing a decent income or were able to start living off of like my passions, let's take it back to like 2010, right? Uh, I'm on Tumblr. I'm posting – I'm just – I'm not trying to get people to listen consistently, but I'm just throwing my stuff out there all the time. I'm putting out like a new song every week. I'm like Mm -hmm. recording these songs that will eventually become songs that are on I Clung To You or songs that are on Sleep, you know, that I'm just writing and I'm putting out there. But they're not being quite appreciated on a large scale yet, and some of them are straight up bombing. And Mm -hmm. I always had people telling me constantly, you could make more working at Pizza Hut. You could make mm-hmm. more working at just a local pizza shop and blah, 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 blah. And – but I – I mean I'm a really unique case because I was completely agoraphobic at the time. So even if I wanted to do that, I couldn't do it. And mm-hmm. I was very, very desperate to succeed. Um, so I chipped away at this thing every single day and that helped me uh, because even through the years that I was just like – when I put Sleep Out in 2012, that was mm-hmm. Sleep. That's the album that I still like basically live off of because of all the plays that it gets on Spotify – and mm-hmm. for many years, it, I mean, when I released that, I considered it a bomb because nobody wanted to touch it. And yep. no label wanted it. And I was just like, God damn it. I knew I did a good album, but no one fucking it's, – it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just put it out there. And I put it up on Spotify myself. And it took years and years for a single track on that to have a million plays. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then there's just a snowball effect. And that's the craziest thing about the internet and about art and about creating stuff and about being a person on the internet, it usually doesn't happen overnight. And all of your favorite fucking YouTubers and stuff that are mega big and have their own studios now mm-hmm. have been on YouTube for like 10 plus years. Oh, yeah. Just make yourself feel better by just scrolling down right. real far. Or just, yeah. <laughs> or just putting the reverse chronological Exactly, order. yeah. And just yeah. see where mm-hmm. they started. Mm-hmm. It's, if they haven't hidden those. <laughs> most of the game is waiting. Most of the game yeah. is continuing doing what you love what you love and expecting nothing in return and just doing it anyway and it's a fucking waiting game and Mm -hmm. you do have to rely on things like luck you know sometimes you get a lucky break and uh you get like an influx of new fans or you get you know but that's not as important as uh the person that loves your original band or your acoustic project um and they found it organically and you get like maybe one or two new people listening a week you know that Mm -hmm. slow 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 growth is what gives you a really solid foundation. Mm-hmm. And that's what you should uh, aim for. So what was it like? It, it sucked. I had to I had to wait and wait and wait for uh, Spotify to cut me a check for like 25 bucks um, mm-hmm. so that I can then go and spend that on canned food and buy chickpeas. Uh, oh, canned food again. Right. That's the theme of the episode. That's <laughs> just canned food. <laughs> yeah. So that I can go and buy chickpeas uh, so I can make you know, whatever I was making with, with that to just stretch it out, you know, buy dry beans and uh, rice and things like that. And it was, it was struggling, you know, um, mm-hmm. just to try and make something off of this art. And um, there's money in it. There's money in art. There's money in photography. There's money in music. There's money in streaming. There's money in all this stuff. Um, and it's there for you to pursue, but fuck, it takes time. Mm-hmm. Yep. But, I mean, it sounds like you're doing – a great job from what it yes. sounds like you yes, know it you, does. you do you've got several things going on you know some of them are more passion projects and some of them are more uh financial projects kind of thing well i don't, I don't know maybe you're super fun uh, passionate about the wedding band also i don't mm-hmm. know <laughs> you could be performing but, um, is fun yeah <laughs> but um 
yeah, I mean, that that's, I think you're doing all the right stuff. <laughs> and you just got to see what happens. Yeah. The, um, mm-hmm. the biggest thing for this person, I think at this point is continuing to do those things and maybe even look at it in a way where think about the small goals in front of you, small goals, you know, mm-hmm. don't think like I, Next year, I'm going to be playing with my favorite artist on stage, this thing, and I'm going to be where they are. And no, 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 no. Stop thinking like that. Lots of people think that way. Hmm. What's an attainable goal that you can have in like six months? Like, and it can be like. The biggest band in Wales. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's attainable. <laughs> well, he's like, well, I, I already am currently the biggest band in Wales, but how, how do I make money? <laughs> I currently have 19 <laughs> listeners. and <laughs> 15 is not a cheap <laughs> it's a lazy whale <laughs> joke i'm sorry yeah <laughs> i apologize <laughs> <coughs> no god the coughing's back 15 of them are sheep and four of them are axes <laughs> so <laughs> that's my lazy whales joke <laughs> god it's stupid okay so yeah. so um what's in the take hold on one second the dog ran in here and now he's itching himself do you hear that I forgot there was a dog in your house. Yeah, there's a dog currently in my house. Henry. Hi, Henry. Henry. I just don't itch, man. You're itchy. You're too itchy. I'm, I'm always telling you that, and you're never listening. You're too itchy. I know. Okay. Um, an attainable goal can 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 be uh like when I was on MySpace and I started Flat Sound back in like 2006 or seven. Um, mm-hmm. and I just had a MySpace page. I would look at it in and and say like, okay, by the end of the week, I want to accomplish this. And that was like fucking. I want to get my plays up to like this much. And it was only you know increased by like five or ten because I thought that I could do it. But if I didn't try, I couldn't do it. Mm. Or if I didn't try, it wouldn't happen. But if I did try, I could do it. And I was just reaching those small goals, reaching those small goals. And then those goals started to get bigger and bigger. And I was like, you know what? This band is like really, really, really fucking cool, and they have a like a CD out because they had some like corny little fucking CD that they uh, pressed, and it was the MySpace era, and we were all just doing our own thing, you know, mm-hmm. that they made like you know like twenty five copies of at home, and I was like, fuck, what if I had a CD? What if I made like twenty five copies of something at home, and I could just like give them away at open mics and stuff? So I did that, and I mm-hmm. was like, okay, there. I'd, what if I played a fucking show? And then I did that. I played a show. Um, because those are things I hadn't done at that point. And these really big ideas, like, what if I like, fuck, what if I, what if I actually had like a hundred, what if I got a hundred plays in one day? And then that started happening all the time because I, I put it out there as something that I wanted and I tried to do it, but things aren't just going to fall in your lap. And I think a lot of people, especially online, think that, you know, these things just fall in your lap and they don't. They take a lot mm-hmm. of time and a lot of very small steps. You take any big person that you like and you think most of them, especially if they're internet based, you look at where they started. It was just some YouTube channel. It was just some Tumblr. It was just some fucking thing. And they made mm-hmm. that into a career. Yeah. Yeah. Just just through through time and continued effort. Mm-hmm. And sometimes their efforts aren't even that good, but they were continued. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I don't know. I... I, not so much in music, but with photographers, certainly I've seen that happen quite a lot of times. <laughs> um, you know, if you're persistent, then people start to know you. Yeah, that, you, I mean, they don't they go down that route. Are. But d- ideally, do both. Be good and be and be just chipping away. At it, well, isn't there know? a thing that's like if you've just if you just do something for long enough within a circle, then you just are known within that circle to have some like some kind of status at some point because people know <laughs> who you are. You know, because I felt like you know. Flat Sound was a little bit like that on Tumblr because I was just on it for so fucking long and wouldn't shut up. And <laughs> but I at yeah. least at least made art that I was like really passionate about that I thought was good and it wasn't like crazy problematic. But like, I, I, it wasn't crazy a problematic. Spe- it was a tad. <laughs> <laughs> I danced the line, of course. We're all we're all here to have fun. Uh, no, it wasn't fucking problematic or bad. And I thought that I, you know, like at least in my heart, I thought I was a good person. But like, when you bring mm-hmm. up things like a person just existing for so long and now we're like why does onision exist oh it's, we've all lost that fucking question yeah right yeah. We're, like we're all just constantly asking ourselves why the fuck does onision exist why, and also why is he allowed to have it? kids yeah. but the oh. the he he does because in this in this era of youtube that he's he, he's been doing this for like well over a decade at this point i think mm-hmm. and he's just people know his name unfortunately people just know who that fucking is <laughs> so yeah, yeah like 
You're right. Like, it doesn't even have to be good. It just has to be long. <laughs> <laughs> it just has to be there for a long time. So if you can mix, like, long <laughs> and both? good, Fuck. then then, yeah. <laughs> then that's the shit, you know? Because for a yeah, lot of artists, ideal. like, their careers don't even really start start until they're, like, a decade into their shit, mm-hmm. you know? And into I their passion. say, it's like my, my worst crime <laughs> towards myself was taking a lot of beautiful photographs and editing them very meticulously and then not putting them anywhere right my worst crime but i still i still am trying to get better at because i don't post that fucking consistently on instagram or mm-hmm. anything and i should because i'm a fucking photographer it's true you should but, um yeah i mean i I'm, I'm doing things consistently like on my patreon which is like you know arguably where it matters but like um yeah i think that's it's just a key thing it's just to just just to be doing things and be showing them and be liking what you're doing and you seem like you're doing a lot so that's good god we shouldn't have picked a question we're both passionate about and we're well (laughs) over we're well over this thing but to wrap this up um yeah i agree i think that you're doing good diversify what you do but not to the extent where you just have like i have this 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 and this and you barely touch any of them Mm -hmm. um do you have to dive into it head head first and do it every single day? I take a lot of my ideology from the insane clown posse and I know, haha, mm-hmm. Mitch is a juggalo. It's it's funny, but it's also true. I'm a fucking <laughs> juggalo. Yeah. And I'm infinitely inspired by the insane clown posse in their story. Because imagine having an idea, having a passion like, hey, we're the insane clown posse. Mm -hmm. They didn't start out successful. They had to work and work and work for their fan base. They had to work for their success. Imagine Mm -hmm. being so driven to do something that you make the insane clown posse work. That's (laughs) the most inspiring. They do have a a crazy work ethos, yeah. They are just grinding. Their work ethic is is something I've never never seen before. And Mm -hmm. um, hearing them talk about it, and especially their early days, I mean, you know, like this was a different era, late 80s, early 90s in Detroit, sitting Mm -hmm. every day at a Kinko's, every day for hours and hours, so long that someone will like work their shift, go home, go to sleep, come back and work their morning shift, and they're still there. They're still (laughs) there making flyers and ordering pizzas to the place. You have to be that passionate about your art. But thankfully, you don't have to go to a Kinko's anymore. You don't have to go to a Kinko's anymore, but you still no. gotta you still gotta grind, and you what still you gotta have to do be, is pirate uh, InDesign CS six. It's just it's yeah. just a different form of grind, but you still have to do it. And also, here's my little bit of advice to you: don't talk about it. Don't talk about the grind. Do not fucking even mention the grind. Don't brag about the grind. <laughs> don't do anything like that. Don't tell people that even that you're grinding. Just fucking do it and keep just your be mouth shut out about the product. it. <laughs> there's this like, there's this thing that I've read about like multiple times at this point where like it feels very good to tell people the projects that you're working on, you know, mm-hmm. because it sends this little reward in your brain like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. Like if I were to mm. really talk about like, uh, oh, guys, I'm going to – there's this uh, – I I'm, I don't know. I'm like working out lately and I'm going to get ripped and yeah, I'm going to go to the gym and I, I'm, I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to do this stuff. The more I talk about it. I'm like feeding that in my brain saying like, yeah, yeah, that is good if I do that. Yeah. And you almost felt like you've done it already. You've done it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh My advice sincerely, (laughs) don't talk about it. Finish the project. (laughs) Do it independently. Don't even talk to other people about like, like not even don't post about it. I'm saying don't talk about it. (laughs) Be passionate about it. And work your ass off. Sit for 16 hours and do the same thing over and over and over again. (laughs) Yeah. Don't get burnt out, though. I think you need to get a little... No. No, you (laughs) need to get burnt out. I've been burnt out so many fucking times. It's not that bad. I mean, I mean, same. I I constantly burn myself out. Always. All all the time. I'm always working for hours and hours on stuff. Stretch your legs. Do something else for a little bit, but come back to it. Mm -hmm. And do it like it's the one thing that you want to do in your life and that won't guarantee that you'll do it but man it makes your it it makes the odds way more in your favor it does because this is the last thing that i'm going to share is that uh jordan's dad um shared with me this is the first time i saw him in years and years and he came to my house and he was like you know i grew up with jordan and we were teenagers together we were you know we were kids together and i saw his dad Mm -hmm. a lot and then i didn't see him for a long time and then he was over at my house and he he looks at the place that I'm renting and he looks at, you know, my merchandise room and my office and my bedroom and my living room and all that stuff. He goes, son of a bitch, Mitch, like you're, this is incredible on flat sound. This is, that's amazing. And I was like, yeah, I feel really, really lucky. 
I feel really lucky. And then I, I was I was saying, well, it's not all luck, but also it, I feel like it is luck in a way because I, I feel like not everybody gets this, but yeah, I, I did work really hard, but it can't just be that. It can't just be work. And he interrupted me and he said that his father used to say a thing that he liked a lot. And that was, let's see if I can remember it on the spot. Um, he basically said, um, luck is where hard work and opportunity intersect. That is good. And I love that. I love that, that more good. than anything. Luck yeah. is where hard work and opportunity intersect. So you mm-hmm. still have to work hard many times mm-hmm. in order to get lucky. But those little lucky spurts that you get, you 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 achieve that by working hard. Mm. It's very nice, huh? I, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I like that a lot. That's good. <laughs> Thanks, Jordan's dad. Thank you, Jordan's dad, dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. We simply have to. We got it. Done. We got it at this we point. We're to. we're well over. So yes, we did three questions, and we had to pick one at the end that we were super passionate about because we're dumb. I know we had to go off <coughs> on one, but hopefully you enjoyed it. I know some of you uh, like when we talk sincerely about things. A lot of people always hit us up, and they're like, "I love yeah. when you talk about music sincerely. You cut that stupid middle school shit that you're always talking about." I know, uh, but, but this is just how we are. It's just part of who yeah. I am. I am also mm-hmm. a, I'm an art. I'm a serious artist as much as I am a little fucker. Yeah. So it's you're true. gonna have to just accept both of me while you listen <laughs> to this podcast, uh, assuming that you didn't tune out already. But this, if, if you are you still can't listening, handle me at my piss podcast, then you don't deserve me at my at my art advice. You said okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't sit, yeah, exactly. You don't deserve the art advice. That I'm giving <laughs> if you can't sit through me talking about Santa's, I mean, absolutely quivering cock. And bulls. <laughs> I hate that so much. <laughs> if you are still listening, um, thank you. And uh, more than anything, this has been All the Space in Between. My name is Mitch. My name's Billy. Thank you so much for listening. If you would like to listen to any of our other episodes, you can find them on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify. Our Spotify is all fixed now and free to follow. Um, you should make sure that you're following it, actually. Double check yes. and do it if you weren't already. And uh, you can also listen at our website, which is... Allthespaceinbetween.com. And if you have a pickle, if you are in a bit of a conundrum and you would like us to answer it live on the show, we love emails. And as I said before, we're constantly... Like these three emails that we answered on the show, we just got. Uh, we yeah, this musician pickle one is from less than a day ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we really just kind of check the top of the list and then we run through all of them and then we star some of them that we like. And then when it's time to record an episode, we'll usually just pick some of the top ones. So we have many yeah. on back catalog, but keep on writing because it'll, it, that is probably how you'll get your question answered is if you're, is if you send it now. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you would like your question answered on the show, you can send us an email at all the space in between at gmail.com. Uh, we'll see you next Monday yeah. for another episode. New episodes every Monday. Thank you so much. Uh, listen on uh, all of those platforms and rate and review us on anything that will allow you to do that. Tell your friends. Oh, yeah. Also tell your friends. Continue to tell your friends <laughs> about this podcast. Um, and then we love the, the fact that you're listening. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.